Hey guys, are you planning a casual dinner party and looking for inspiration for your table setting? I'm Nicole with the door on the table and I've got a really cute, easy to copy tablescape that I know is going to impress your friends and family. Also in this video, I'm going to be sharing some tips that you're going to find really useful. So let's get started. Now the first thing to consider with your table setting is the foundation. Are you going to use a tablecloth, a table runner, maybe placemats or charger plates under your dinner plate? Because what you decide is going to help set that overall tone and feeling for your casual dinner party. Now since this is a casual dinner party, I'm opting to not use a tablecloth. Now, I love tablecloths and if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll see that I use them almost all the time. But with it being casual, I kind of want to scale back and have a more casual vibe to my table. And with that, I think using placemat is going to be a wonderful starting point because it's going to give that overall look and feel I want on this table setting. And the placemats I'm going to go with, you've probably seen in another video, but they are my woven uh, placemats. I love these woven placemats, this rattan look. And you can find these kind of placemats at almost any store that sells dining pieces, whether it's Pottery Barn, Target, World Market, Walmart, they almost always have at least one set of woven placemats. And when you're looking at placemats, my advice is find something that's going to coordinate well with your tabletop and your dishes. So depending on what those are, you might end up opting either for a darker woven placemat or a lighter woven placemat. But maybe make sure that you bring your uh, one of your dinner plates with you so that you make sure that they actually do coordinate. So with using a woven placemat like this, I think it also helps kind of give a little bit of an elevated feel to the table setting, but still has that essence of casualness. I'm going to put one in front of each of my chairs. I'm going to center it with a chair. The other thing I want to make sure that I let you know is that your placemat should go about an inch from the edge of the table. So placing it down centered with your chair one inch from the edge of the table. I'm going to go ahead and put one around the rest of my chairs right now. Next, I'm going to put my plates in the center of each of my placemats. Now, my plates are ones I've got from Target uh, about a year or two ago. They are hearth and hand plates, and they definitely have a very wonderful casual look and feel to them. Now I'm going to grab the glasses that I'm going to be putting on my table setting. So since this is a casual dinner party, I think it's important to have two different glasses at each place setting. And the reason is I think you should always have a water glass, which is I'm going to be using this amber glass for, and a secondary glass for whatever other beverage that your guest is going to be drinking, whether it's a beer, a wine, or some other drink. Now, both of these glasses are vintage, but I have seen very similar ones in stores even as recently as a week ago. So I'm choosing to use these amber glasses for my water glass and these really pretty fluted glasses for my secondary beverage. And I think by combining these, I'm giving that casual yet elevated look to my place settings. Now, when you are putting your glasses at your place settings, the water glass is going to go to the top right and then the secondary beverage glass is going to go just below that. So I'm going to put a combination of both of these glasses in front of each of my placemats.
Here's a quick close-up of that amber water glass and of my fluted glass. Next for the flatware, and since this is a casual dinner party and I know I'm not gonna be using spoons, I'm not gonna set out spoons. Typically when I am doing a video and I'm showing you the placement for flatware, I let you know about how the knife and spoon go on the right and the fork goes on the left. But I'm gonna switch it up a little bit today just because of it being such a casual table setting. I'm gonna instead take my knife and my fork and I'm just gonna lay them on the top right of each of my plates which I think really kind of helps with that fun, casual look that I'm going for. After the flatware come the napkins. And with this being a casual dinner party, I know most people are going to think, hey, let me just use paper napkins. But I'm gonna say, please don't do that. And I know you can find some really cute paper napkins and they're really easy to deal with because once you're done with dinner, you can take, ball them up and throw them in the trash. But really think about using cloth napkins because cloth napkins are gonna help elevate that dinner party, that feeling that your guests are gonna have. It's gonna make them feel special that you have provided them with cloth napkins, that they're gonna be using cloth napkins when they're sitting around the table. And you know, don't be afraid of cloth napkins. You wash them, you can use them over and over again, so they're very eco-friendly for that reason. I think a lot of people feel that um, they need to use white or cream ones, but they've got so many cute pattern napkins out now. These I found at World Market, uh, but I know you can find them at Pottery Barn, Williams Sonoma, Target. They're all over, and the reason why I say thinking about getting a patterned one, if you're afraid of stains, they will hide the stains. You can always treat them though with OxyClean or you know something else. And most likely you will not be getting stains on your cloth napkins. And you can use them over and over again. So when you're looking for cloth napkins, think about the dishes that you have, the glassware you have, and find ones that will coordinate that you don't feel you need to invest a lot in. Now, I have a cute fold for you that I'm gonna take and share with you. Okay, so for this napkin fold, I'm gonna take and open up my napkin all the way. And then I'm gonna find the center. And I'm gonna take and kind of pinch and then pull down until about a third of the way. Next, I'm gonna grab twine in my case, but if you have ribbon that matches your napkins, that would work well too. And about a third of the way down, I'm going to lay my twine, I'm going to flip over my napkin, and I'm going to tie it. Then I'm actually going to take and flip my napkin over one more time and tie it again. So it looks like this. Now with my twine, I have a cute gift tag that I am going to slip the twine into that hole and tie the gift tag to my napkin. Now what this is going to be doing is this gift card is gonna act as a place card holder because I can write my guest names on here. Now even though this is a casual table setting, by creating a place card and putting my guest name on a card, it makes them feel special. It makes them feel wanted, 
to be at the table that they are invited and that you care about them. So think about that, something super simple like tying a gift tag around your napkin. And in this case, I'm gonna take and lay my napkin with the point facing down and the fanned part facing up right next to my knife and fork. And then I'm gonna kinda of take my twine and just drape it around. And I'm gonna do that with each of my place settings. So the last thing to do on my casual dinner party table setting is the centerpiece. And with this being such a informal affair, I want to make sure that my centerpiece is very informal and casual as well. I'm going to keep it really simple, but I also want to make sure that it stays kind of with that overall look and feel of my table setting and incorporating the colors that I've got going on. So let me share with you what I found and what I'm doing. I found this really cute vase at World Market. I just love this kind of matted, shiny quality it has, which again, I think kind of continues my elevated yet casual look. And then I just found some flowers that I feel help pick up the colors that are in my napkin. And I'm gonna put this in the middle of my table. And one of the things with this centerpiece is everything is going to be low because when you have centerpieces you want to make sure that they do not obstruct the view of the guests of each other. They don't want to be dodging centerpieces to be able to see that person across from them. So make sure that you keep your centerpiece low and easy for the guests to see across at the other people at the table so they can carry on conversations and feel that they're all part of the conversation. Now, on either side of my vase, I found these really cute lotus candle holders. These were also at World Market. I love this orange color. I think it complements my napkins and my glasses really well. And it gives a little bit of ambiance when I light these candles. They're not big, tall ones, so they don't have that kind of elegant feel. They, again, keep with that informal, casual look that I'm going for. And I'm just gonna put one on each side of my vase. And that's it. That's the simplicity of this centerpiece, keeping it casual and informal, and something that I know my guests are really going to enjoy. What do you think of my casual dinner party table setting? Is it one you think you could easily recreate? If you enjoyed my video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And remember, a beautifully set table is a gift to those gathered around it. I look forward to seeing you next time here at the table. Bye.